hey guys it's daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to be sharing another video with you and in this particular video i want to share with you the ridiculously insane way i use chat to do keyword research as a matter of fact it's mind-blowing what we can do with this tool called chat gpt unfortunately for most people like myself too inclusive we are very restrictive because we don't know what prompts to get things done with this chat gpt it's crazy right now for me to come here and type in a prompt here that would do a perfect keyword research for me for me to do a perfect keyword research i need to have a keyword strategy i need to be able to develop keywords i need to know their difficulty i need to know uh the search intent i need to know so many things about that keyword and that's extremely difficult for you to be thinking of prompts to get all those things but this is what i have done i've been able to convert chat from something like this to a tool like this that has been created to get this done easily for me i don't want to talk over your head i just want to show you how this is done so if i scroll down right now you can see that i can do quite a number of things so you can see keyword strategy outrank article uh, you you can do literally all your seo with chat with this method i just want to show you but for the purpose of this example i want us to limit these tutorials to keyword research i will touch other aspect of seo uh, in subsequent videos so if you want to see those kind of videos make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on those content so if i come to topic this is all i can just literally come down to seo preferably i can still limit this down under activity and you can see that under seo we see can we can do a lot of things like ideation to keywords to link building to marketing to outreach to product to research but let's just leave this as keywords and then i can sort this down by vote trending vote absolute views and if you come down to these tools you will see that they have different views uh, different comment and all those kind of feedback so that's it with that right now i've been able to limit over 4000 prompts to about 148 prompts so you can see here that we can do a lot of things so now i can just use this tool to generate keywords i can do keyword analysis now i can do keyword research from article so literally i can just paste an article link here and then this and then chat gpt will give me all the keywords so that means that i can easily spy on my competitor i put in their keyword their blog their website their blog article to see all the keywords they are ranking for that's crazy seo keyword content strategy keyword strategy and report i find this tool extremely extremely important and i think i'm going to touch that eventually cluster a list of keywords based on their semantic relevance you can see this <laughs> this is crazy keywords idea by search intent it means that now you can look for keywords you can generate keywords by search intent and search intent is extremely important when you are doing your keyword research for example you want to sell a product and you are trying to rank for keywords that are just informational keywords the person that is searching for that keyword just want to get information and is not willing to buy so you need to look for commercial keywords for you to be able to sell those things are extremely important when you're doing your keyword research top 20 keywords for a new website keyword strategy keyword cluster and content plan a lot of things keywords from website url we've seen something similar earlier you can do your long-term research your long take keyword research by country cpc and volume isn't this amazing keyword research by search volumes and synonyms a lot you can do i still like to come to search here and just type keyword so this will filter down everything that is not having anything keyword uh, to them so if you come down here we can find uh, more and more so you can see keyword research search volume cpd kd and bid 
So you'll be able to see uh, the volume of, of the keyword search. You'll be able to see the CPC of that keyword, the KD, which is the keyword difficulty, and also the bid for that keyword. Before we end this video, I would make sure to show you how you can also turn your own ChatGPT to this literally for free and you can start using this to do keyword research. I should even start with keyword strategy here, for example. Uh, if once you click this, you then have the option here for keyword strategy. You can come down my output language is English. For tone here, we are limited to default and emotional, but I leave this at default writing style too as well, default or poetic. I can just type in WordPress tutorials and then I search. So you can see the strategy here is super simple and mind blowing. So the keyword type is LSI keywords and the keyword here is uh, WordPress how to guide. The title should be learn WordPress step by step tutorial. Uh, the description should be master WordPress with a comprehensive how-to guide. So this is for LSI keywords. This is for informational keywords. If I'm looking for a long tail keyword, then I can say best plugin for WordPress. And then the that should be the keyword. The title should be top WordPress plugin boost your site. And then if I'm looking for a service keyword, I should say WordPress website design. Uh, that's if I want to sell my services. And if I'm looking for a commercial keyword, I can say affordable WordPress hosting. Uh, that should be my keyword. Uh, my title should be reliable WordPress hosting solution. Then I can have a description that says Guess, get fast and affordable hosting for your website. I can further debug that I can write this to rewrite this or regenerate this, make this more into it. I can do all those things the way you can do them with ChatGPT. So this is mind blowing. Okay, so now let's come back to new charts. Okay, so coming back to the first page here, there are quite a number of uh, tools that I like. For example, if we use this keyword strategy and reports now, for example, and then we type in WordPress tutorials and then I search. This is amazing. So coming back here again, uh, just typing in WordPress tutorials, this tool has been able to give me FAQs, how can I create a WordPress website? What are the essential plugins for WordPress? These are questions that people are asking around WordPress tutorials. Related queries, now WordPress installation guide, how to write a blog post on WordPress, WordPress versus other CMS platform, best WordPress teams, how to create an e-commerce site on WordPress. And it's giving me long tail keywords, easy to customize WordPress theme, step-by-step -step WordPress, blogging guide optimizing images for wordpress and seo so for wordpress tutorial uh it's just it's a keyword and then it's informational a beginner's guide uh, this is educational uh, when you're seeing wordpress tip you are just uh the intent is informative you're just giving people an information uh, once you are dealing with wp dashboard it is now how to when you are setting up plugins it is tutorials once you are doing SEO for WordPress, you are being educational, just like I am doing right now, how to do keyword research. Once you are doing WP security measures, you are being informative too as well. We are customizing themes, that's how to, uh, blogging with WordPress, that's tutorials, and then uh, WP troubleshooting, that's problem solving. Your slog should be WordPress uh, tutorials, Definitely our entries, WordPress, web development, SEO optimization, blogging, and, and it was also written meta description for us, meta title, page except, and then references if we need uh, them. All right, so let's go back. And we can also still play with this keyword research. So we want to develop our keyword to see the search volume, the CPC, the keyword difficulty, and the bit. So I can still do WordPress tutorials. And then let's search. So you can see it has stopped here, but I can continue generating. But for the purpose of this example, I don't want to waste so much time trying to. So you can see that this tool has been able to give us keywords, keyword, uh, which is WordPress tutorials. So you can see synonyms, uh, WP tutorials, WordPress guides. They are the same thing, just like talking about LSI keywords. 
and then you can see the search volume is 10,000 the uh, CPC is uh, 1.5 dollars uh, the keyword difficulty is, is 0 0.65 uh, competing product is demi courses and suggested bids is like two dollars in case you want to uh, run ads for those keywords uh, 5,000 so you can see fantastic fantastic things here so you, you I can literally do so much troubleshooting doing keyword research getting the semantics getting the difficulties getting oh my goodness this is fantastic uh, there's a lot of prompts here that would help you get the best out of ChatGPT, especially when you're doing your keyword research so this is the new method that i do keyword research right now you can experiment with uh, for just keyword research alone, you have about 149 prompts here that can help you uh, get uh, the best. So it doesn't really matter exactly what you want to generate in terms of keyword research. This would help you. A prompt here would help you get it done. The real question now is how can you turn your chat GPT to uh, this uh, from the basic thing? You just need to go to Chrome extension and type in AI PRM for chat GPT. I can just come to my search now and search A I P R M for chat GPT. So you can see the search is here. So, so you can see this is the Chrome extension here. This is added to Chrome already. Uh, you can uh, add this to Chrome. If you do add this to Chrome, it will turn your default chat GPT to this. And this is amazing. So that's my time for this video. If you find it useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, any concerns, uh, clarification, let me know in the comment section. I will look out for them to give you as much assistance as I can. That's my time. Bye for now. See you on another one.